Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Shining Resonance Refrain. It is by Sega and it released on July 10th, 2018. And yes, this is a PS3 game that has been remastered and it was only released in Japan. And now it's been remastered and brought to like every platform imaginable. I've been eager to play this. In fact, I've been waiting all week. I finally got my hands on a copy. Thank you, Sega, for working with me and sending it my way. And it is time, ladies and gentlemen, to hop in and begin. Now, I have the, the music up a little bit louder than I normally would because I did find that the like opening sequence does seem to be tied to the music, so I think any cinematics will also be tied to it. If it's too loud, I'll adjust it in the future episodes, but for now, we're going to go with it. And I did do some quick checking before we started, and it makes more sense to play through the original game first before playing through the refrain, though... Refrain is kind of a what-if scenario off of the main storyline, but again, makes more sense to play through the original, so we're going to play through the original. The tale of a boy who carries the soul of a legendary dragon within him, and his struggles to defy fate alongside his dragoneer companions. This is the story as it was originally meant to be played, and it's recommended for first-time players. Let's just see what Refrain says. Uh, same thing, the great savior of legend... This time, two great figures of the conflict break the bonds of fate to join his side. Includes date events for Aginus, sure, or Aginus or something, and Excella, recommended for players who have completed the original mode. So, of course, if we go with the original, let's hop in, let's begin. Casual or standard? Standard, of course. Begin the game, let's do it. Pretty excited. Been waiting a while. Super stoked. Let's do this. It's the enemy! They're coming! We're under attack! It's an elf! A dragoneer! All soldiers to the front gate! Go! Hurry! That seems good or bad. Op 1. Moonlit Overture. I'm not sure what op or OP is, but it's fine. Looks like she got their attention. That should leave this area clear. Right on time, too. I suppose she's never been one for half measures. But now it's our turn. Our target's on this floor. He should be trapped in a cell in the furthest part of the lab. We find him and save him. Okay, I can do that, probably. Yes, lady. The Astorian soldier. I want everyone coming back in one piece. Yeah. Move out. Our mission starts now. Good luck, Commander. Let's do it. I guess we control Sonya. Oh, controlling characters. You can move the character you are currently controlling with the left analog stick. In areas where it's hard to look around, you can move the camera with the right analog stick. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd actually... I love that. I would like the... Um, probably to increase the sensitivity. We obtained a potion. Uh, increase the sensitivity of said camera. Okay. Do we have a jump button? I imagine we do. Oh, we don't seem to. Oh. Okay. I'm just pressing things right now. Alright, I'm walking up on the swordsman level two. What you doing, buddy? The target should be just ahead. You there! Halt! Should have figured it wouldn't be that easy. Oh well. Who are you? State your business. Would you believe I'm here to rescue a princess? I guess you don't care. I, I thought you were rescuing a prince, because you did use the he to you know what, it's fine. In any case, I owe you an introduction. I am Sonia Blanche, a sworn knight of Astoria. Yeah. An Astorian? Breach! There's been a breach! Unfortunately for you, I'm in a hurry, so I won't be holding back. Here I come! Oh gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing, so we'll figure this out as we go. Normal attacks. Enemies blocking your way have appeared. Try attacking the enemy in front of you. Press B and you will perform a series of attacks against the enemy. That's a strange button to press, but fine. Press Y and you can perform the character's special break attack. Break attacks are a single strike, but you can use them any time while you're attacking. Performing attacks in succession is called a chain combo. Combine attacks to defeat the enemy. 
Okay. What's up, Sonya? Sonya fights with a sword and shield. She has quick attacks and high defense. For her break attack, pressing Y repeatedly will increase her number of attacks. Cool. Use her quick attacks repeatedly so that the enemy won't have an opportunity to retaliate. Eh. Ah. Oh, oh, okay. No, nothing bad happened there. We have action points. I'm confused, but fine. When the controlled character performs an action, action points are consumed. You will be unable to perform an action if you don't have enough AP. Be mindful of your remaining AP during combat. Oh, well that's good to know. Okay, so we have a... We, it looks like we have a dodge move there. What you gonna do? Ow! He kicked me! Oh, I crit him. Yeah, 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 we did. I'll definitely be playing with the music a bit, guys and girls. That's it. I better get moving before the reinforcements arrive. No drops. Alright. Wait, there was a, another pass we could take? Ooh, what's over here? No shiny bits? Get Just, ready. Oh, level come. one marksman? Can he shoot me? No, he has to run me here down. Alright. Is there a way to switch targets? Oh, no, but you can lock on, like, for realsies, as opposed to the suit. So there's a soft lock on. Sorry. There's a soft lock on, and then there seems to be a, a more solid, like, permanent lock on. I like that. Get ready. Here they come. Here we go. Take this. All right. What was it? Was that one? Ooh, look at this! Million thrust. Use the skill. Yeah, that, that music's a bit obnoxious at the end of the the battle there. Uh, I don't think I want to go down the stairs, so we're gonna go around the corner here. We're gonna see what's going on. There's an event, so that's probably good. Love the music. This is it. If our information's right, he should be in here. So I went the right way instead of the wrong way? I'm confused. It's fine. So he's supposed to be a princess? That makes no sense to me, but that's fine. Or maybe saving... What? How cruel! Saving him allows them to save a princess. That's possible. I'm here to help. Are you Yuma Ilvern? Yes, that's me. I'm Sonia, a knight of Astoria. I'm here to break you out. Just follow me. Huh? Come on, we need to escape before the guards arrive. Escape? Escape to where? I... I have nowhere to go. Do you want to stay here? Well, of course not, but... Do you want to build a snowman? Sorry. Then follow me. We just need to make it out and you're free. You can go anywhere you want. Why are you doing this just to free us? That doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, it, it's fine, but... Come on, let's go. I, uh, all right. Surprise. There she is. That's the Astoria Knight. There's more of them than I thought. So much for slipping out the main gate. Mm -hmm. Okay, change your plans. That sounds bad. Lady. Oh. Good timing. Looks like we're going with plan B for the escape. This way. Brute no. force. Oh, we'll oh. hold the line here. You get to safe ground. What? No. Then all of you would... We'll be fine. We survived your training, didn't we? A handful of Imperials aren't going to take us out. Fine. Do me proud, everyone. They're all going to die, aren't they? Um. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Just follow me. We can escape from up top instead. Um. Okay. That seems highly unlikely and very strange. Why would they sacrifice... Things are always so vague in the beginning of games, aren't they? Like, why would you go and sacrifice people that you trained with, that you, you know, you worked at, you know, there are people you know to save somebody who you're just going to randomly free? Oh. Oh, this is the way I should... Okay, cool. So the red line does... Okay, that makes sense. 
Run faster. I, I really hope that they get like a, well, a slight increase in run speed at some point. If not, I, I suppose we can still tolerate it. It's cool. Force abilities. Hey, we get to learn about using the force. The shining force. Magic and techniques that consume MP are called force abilities. Every force ability has a required cast time to activate it. Hold LB or L1 and press any of the buttons displayed on the screen to perform the move. Since a force ability does not consume AP, using it after expending AP through chain attacks is an effective combat strategy. There are a number of force abilities, some are offensive moves, others are healing magic. Use an effective Use an effective force ability with the proper timing to swing a battle in your favor. Oops, that was not the correct force ability. That was me hitting the wrong buttons all together. That worked out pretty good. Just kind of casually step away. I'm over here! He just tried to kick me again. Look at him. Look at him. I do like this combat, actually. It's quite a bit... It, it looks... It, I, I, from the outside, it's going to look very much like a Tales of type game. But the combat itself is different. Which I do like. Like, you have more control over where you're moving. And when you attack, you don't just run over and start swinging. And it's not just spamming the same button. There is a little bit of variety and stuff in it. So far, I really do like it a lot. I think it's it's quite nice. Just going to have to get used to the button combinations, lock on and all that. And we'll get it. The controller layout's a little bit strange, but again, once you get used to it, it'll be fine. Keep it up, we're almost outside. Is this really the way out? There, the intruders! After them! Shoot, they're gaining on us. Hurry! Well, we can go after you. Yeah, we'll fight you. I want to fight everybody. Why? Because it's fun. Duh. How dare you hit me, sir? Oh, you didn't expect that, did you? How about that? How about that? All right. Get ready. Here they come. Oh, there's a thing over there. What's up, man? Come at me, man. What does that do? And done. I'm feeling it. Me too. It's odd. It's odd that both she and I are feeling it, possibly at the same time. It's weird. I know. That sounded way more um, uncomfortable than it should have. It's fine. Save points. You can save your game's progress at save points in places where you can rest. There is no knowing what will happen on your journey, so please be sure to save often. You can resume your game from save data by choosing load game on the title screen. Save. 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 Alright, cool. Onward. To the top floor we go. We can escape from the top, she said. Well, I don't know if that's true. But I suppose we'll probably figure it out. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at the pretty moon. Look at it. It is quite gorgeous. Quite lovely. The, this is our escape route? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused too, buddy, but we'll figure what? it out. See how the walls crumbled over there? We can climb down and get out of here. Oh, that sounds safe. They've reached the top. Don't let them escape. But those guards will be here any moment. They'll just catch us while we're climbing. They would, if it was just the two of us. If we didn't have backup. Oh, we have backup, huh? Come on, Dragonier. Hurry it up. This is your cue. Okay. Ooh. What are we doing? What's happening? We're going to see our dragon here. This game has dragons, if you guys didn't know. Which makes it just 30 times more cool than it already was. The hour is upon us. Sonya must be in position by now. Karika? Okay. Then it is my turn to fight. A suitable diversion should be enough to ensure their escape. Oh. Okay, so we get to control... What was it? K K K 
Uh, Karika, right? Kirika? Kirika? I got nothing. Well, it looks like we just have one event to do. Let's go see how this plays out. Halt! Identify yourself! I am a Dragoneer of Wellant. Oh. Perhaps you understand what that means? That's Karika. Okay. Wellant? Then she's the one. She wiped out the South 7th Legion all on her own! Yep. I can't say I recall. It certainly sounds like something I might have done. <laughs> what business does a Dragoneer have with us? I only ask that you let me pass. Don't be ridiculous! You think we'd just let you in? She did ask nicely. I mean, maybe? If you choose violence, I must respond in kind. But your passing will not go unmourned. Through my requiem, your soul will find peace. Huh. That seems bad for them. Oh. I am Kirika Toa Alma, Diva Magica, and inheritor Diva. of the Rune Songs Sorry. of Nature. Face me. Cool. The intruder! We're under attack! Okay. The Karika Tutorial. Karika is a Dragoneer who uses the Kodo no Kagura. She is good at range attacks and can support the party from the back line. Her break attack sends out a flurry of arrows that automatically track and attack multiple targets. Karika can also use the Recovery Force Heal to replenish HP. When you use Heal, a cursor will appear at the bottom of the screen above the character's status display, allowing you to choose whom to heal. Use left or left or right or right, you get the idea. D-pad or the uh, the left analog stick. Uh, choose your target, press A to select the member you want to heal. Okay, um, well I should probably just have them all run up on me, alright. That was cool. What else do we have here? Oh, ah! Uh oh Well, that seemed pretty effective. Ow! This is not working to my advantage, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's fine, it is working. Alright, so we're just going to casually walk along and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw a heal on ourselves. Alright. Wounds are out and you are donezo, friend. She's definitely not a main frontline fighter. Very slow attacking right now. Oh, this is a weird screen. Still no sign of Sonya. This is no simple delay. Has she abandoned the front gate? Perhaps she's chosen the secondary plan. Storming the gates will do me no good. I'll have to find a different route to the rendezvous point. Okay. Are we gonna do that or something else gonna happen? We gotta hold the line for a while. Uh-oh. Yuma. What is that? Do I, do I press a button? I think I press a button. What's happening? Yuma, can you hear me? It does appear that he can. Uh, I can hear you. Your situation is dire indeed. I know. I'll probably just get captured again. Why do you not draw your sword? You are more than capable of defending yourself. Does he have his sword? No, I... I can't. I'd rather just go back to my cell. Don't you want to escape? I do, but... If it means I have to use that power... I... I can't. They'd lock me up, but they wouldn't kill me. I just have to let them experiment on me. It's just pain. I'm used to pain. Yeah, huh. if I can just endure it, then... Well, that's disturbing. In many ways. Try it, though. 
There she is! That's the Astoria hey, Knight! You okay? Huh? What's wrong? I thought I lost you for a second there. No, it's nothing. But the guards... I know. But if we can hold on a little longer, my friend will come back us up. I'll keep you safe until then. Oh, Don't yeah? worry. Right. Thank you, Miss Sonia. I'm no miss. Just call me Sonia. Oh, okay. Sonia, wait. wait. Something, Something about, about this, this feels, feels so, so nostalgic, nostalgic somehow. somehow. Oh, yeah? Uh-oh. Flashback time, maybe. <sighs> what was that? What is happening? Yuma, watch out! Get back! Right. Yuma, are you truly satisfied? Would you stand back without a word of objection and watch her fight for your sake? It is kind of cowardly, man. Step up. What are you trying to say? You are dead weight. A spectator. A useless piece upon the board of battle. I ask again, can you accept this? One would hope. You are no younger, he, that he doesn't. no less capable than she is. Yet when she raises her blade, you hesitate and watch. Yuma, does this not pain you? No, I... Of course I feel bad. What am I supposed to do? You're telling me to use your power? I told you I can't do that! It is not my power I am advising you to wield. You sealed that blade within yourself, and it is high time you used it. Huh. But if I draw that sword... Do you not long for that power? Do you not wish to fight at her side? <sighs> Fine, dragon. I don't like it, but you're right. It's time for me to fight. Aw, oh, yeah. Let's get this done. I am Yuma, heritor of the Dragon Soul. Vandalhorn, Dragon Resonator. I release thy bonds. Let this blade howl with the pulse of dragon kind. Sweet. Is that what the weird lock thing on his neck is? This is my body and soul. This is Dragon Incarnate. Now, show them the might of Vandalhorn, the Dragon Resonator. Sounds like a party to me. Let's do this. Oh, dang. It's got a crack Just in it. Just this once. This is the last time I draw this sword. Yuma? Sonya, I can fight too. I, I mean, could you have fought without fighting? Yuma uses the sword Vandalhorn. He possesses uh, high damage and a wide radius for his attacks. His break attack, a dash lunge, can knock down a single enemy. Once knocked down, the enemy will be defenseless. How do I... Oh, that's how. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'm getting, like, attacked. Ah! It did not work. Let's try again. Yes. Yeah. We did it. She got beat up a little bit though. Well, she leveled up though. So Yuma and Sonya both got 73 personal experience and 73 gold between the two of them. No item props though. Yeah. <sighs> Yuma. What? That song. Who's singing? It would be kind of weird and off-putting, wouldn't it? Just be in... Just be at a battle. Who's that? Just hear singing. It's strange. She's... Oh boy. A dragon? Well, 
Well, that's not good. That seems really bad. Trishula. Is that one of the Empire's Draco Machina? Thank you, Trishula. That's Trishula. Then you're the Imperial Dragonair Princess, Excella. Sub Excella. Indeed. Of course. That dragon's one of the three spears of the Imperial Princess. I suppose it makes sense their mistress wouldn't be far. But why are you in Alfheim? To humble those who would stand against the Empire, Knight of Astoria. <clears throat> hey, Yuma. Stay close to me no matter what. And on my signal, just run as fast as you can. Where? They're on the top of a giant building. What? Just trust me, okay? O okay. Well, seems bad. <laughs> Trishula, I leave them to you. Have at them. Of course. That seems bad. Very, hmm? very Trishula, panty, wait. panting like <laughs> tongue hanging out, just flopping there. Hmm. Pantish? Is that? A, I don't. Hmm. Huh? Is that? Finally, she's here. We're gonna see some dragon on dragon action, eh? That song. <laughs> oh. Pull Impressive out. indeed. To block an arrow in flight. Hey, Kirika. A little late, don't you think? Yeah, she's heard it both ways. In you, foe. Speak your name. I am Kirika Toa Alma, Dragoneer of Wellant, Diva Magica, an inheritor of the rune songs from the dragons of old. Cool. I'm glad you finally showed up. I thought we were finished. And rightly so. Few could stand against a Draco Machina, even without an Imperial Dragoneer commanding it. Her name is Kirika? <sighs> uh oh. It's flashback it's time. Happening again. Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. Mm. I'm fine. Clearly. My, the original Diva Magica in the flesh. An intriguing development. Then let me see your power firsthand. Trishula, take them. Here Can we handle this? I cannot say. But we must try. We must save the Shining Dragon no matter the cost. Uh, what? Who, who are you saying that? Oh, it's so loud. I'm so sorry, guys and gals. Breaking. Continuously hitting an enemy with break attacks or force attacks can put the enemy in a state of immobility. This state is called break. While the enemy is in a broken state, its defenses is lowered or defense is lowered, allowing massive amounts of damage to be dealt. You can see how close the enemy is to being broken by monitoring the targeting marker. Every enemy has a time when they are more vulnerable to breaks. By focusing break and force attacks during this time, you'll be able to break the enemy easily. Targeting enemies' elemental weakness or using break attacks in a chain combo will also make breaking easier. Trishula is vulnerable to being broken while he is casting. Try to hit him with break or force attacks when he starts to cast. Alright, we broke him. Quick smash. Go, go, go. Get Trishula down. That should have been it. I guess we got her with her him with a million thrusts. Man, the dragon's loud. I'll be tweaking the sounds as we go, guys and gals. All right, well, we did that pretty quickly. Uh, 252 times 2 and then 249. Yeah, that's fine. Looks like a lot of people leveled up off of that, too. Why didn't she pull her dragon out? I had imagined the original Diva Magica's power would be more impressive somehow. It will be more than enough to strike you down. 
Really? Fair play. A bold claim. Shall we test it? I can't move. <laughs> What's wrong? Standing still, even on a battlefield like this, it's as if you're inviting my lance. Well, that's not good. Kirika! I think not. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm waiting. I can't move. Yes, we've established this already, but that's okay. Are you all truly so helpless? Perhaps you were weaker than I thought. Weak? Don't give me that. We already put down your dragon. What does that make you? Pardon? You believe you fell, Trishula? <laughs> What's so funny? You have barely seen a fraction of Trishula's might. Okay, but we, we beat that fraction. Rise, my dragon. I shall grant you power anew. What? Is that a flute? Oh, sorry. It's gonna be loud. You will pay for that, humans. It's coming back to life. Oh yeah, Trishula is angry. It's not gonna go well for us. That resonance. Is that her harmonic? Now you see, dragon and harmonic uniting to grant each other supreme power. That is the true might of a Dragoneer. Then... We'll just beat it down again! I see you are persistent, if nothing else. But you forget one crucial detail. Oh, yeah? There are three spears under my command. And Trishula is but one. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Are, are spears codenamed for Dragon? That's codenamed for Dragon. That's bad. What? Go. Oh, no dilly dallying at all. Just straight up get us. Alright, I'm ready. Huh. <laughs> Hardly worth the effort. They were so intent on rescuing this boy. Who is he? Yuma. Your Highness, are you all right? Yes, perfectly fine. Seize them. Yes, Your Highness. Come on, Yuma. Really? That's just how it's gonna... Okay. <sighs> They're taking me back, but I can't stop them. I didn't want to escape anyway. Just have to stay in my cell. Just have to stay quiet. You say so, buddy. Quiet. Indeed. Perhaps you will return to your prison. Perhaps the experiments will continue. But what of the girls? What do you mean? They're gonna die, man. Your would-be rescuers are of no use to the Empire. There would be no point in subjecting them to the same trials. After you have been taken away, whether by the soldier's hand or the Draco Machina, these two will die. No! Damn it, I have to do something! Yeah, you do. But what can I do? Time to man up! Need you ask? You know or woman exactly up. what you can do. The power of the dragon? No! If I use that, then... Refuse, if you wish. That is your choice. What does it matter to me if two reckless girls meet their ends? It sounds like you feel the same, Yuma. No, of course not! I can't just abandon them! Is it go time? It's go time. It's go time. We got this. What is that? the end of you oh okay did he turn into the dragon impossible that 
Boys, a dragon? I guess that's a yes. But... He has been awakened. But how? You... Yuma! Your radiance! I like his sword head or forehead. You want us to get on? Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> My apologies, your radiance. Onward. I'm just gonna fly away. Yeah, no, that's cool. He's a lot smaller than the other dragons. <laughs> So that's the thing that happened. Surprise! Trishula, Gabold, Gugnir, don't let that Gabold. dragon escape. After it. Gugnir, are they gonna As you fly command, too? But at great risk. How so? That was the shining dragon, our nemesis. He who fought us in the fires of Ragnarok. If we are to face him again, we must prepare for the worst. The Shining Dragon. Its power is legend. Our records say it was the greatest of the world dragons. Then no. I rescind my order. I'll not risk your lives in a reckless charge. We will strike when we are better prepared. Ooh. Still, sure they're happy about I never that. imagined Alfheim would present such revelations so soon. The question is, is this an omen of our fortune or our doom? Said it wrong. It's doom. You thought that like resonating deep voice to, to go with the time. Long ago, the people spoke of a sacred island, a sea-bound holy land where Deus dwelled, Alfheim. Since time immemorial, the high elves of this island lived in peace with dragons, using mystic rune songs to commune with their mighty allies. Yet, this peace did not last. Deus, a force more powerful than any dragon, looked upon this world with disdain and sought to build a new world atop the old. High Elves, who were loyal to the dragons, did battle with their kin, who stood beside Deus. Chaos, suffering, war spread forth from the Holy Land, a shadow to cover the entire world. After centuries of carnage, the dragons finally claimed victory and sealed Deus away. The war had been won, but at what cost? The battle had exacted a terrible price upon their kind, and few remained. Ages of war had left Alfheim a barren wasteland, and those elves who fought for the dragons left their home to seek peace in a new life on the mainland. In the thousand years since that war's end, it came to be known as Ragnarok. Over the long years that followed, life slowly returned to Alfheim. The land darkened by war grew bright again, and humans soon came to settle in its newly fertile fields. These immigrants founded the Kingdom of Astoria, and its dominion grew to span all of Alfheim. However, ten years ago, the trumpets of war sounded across the sea once again, and Alfheim was invaded by the largest nation of the mainland, the Lombardian Empire. This peaceful island was once again plunged into the fires of war. The Knights of Astoria fought bravely, but the Empire's strength was overwhelming. The defenders lost more and more ground by the day, until over half the land was under Lombardian control. Yet, Astoria managed to push them to a stalemate, thanks to the military support of the elven kingdom of Welland, denizens of the mainland, and neighbor to the Empire. Astoria held a key to victory. Their famed dragoneers, warriors who wield harmonics, Instruments gifted to mortals long ago by a dragon of old. That dragon, he who forged the harmonics from his own body, 
and granted those blessings unto mortals was the almighty Shining Dragon, the same creature who now inhabits the body of a boy named Yuma. It is here and now, as the Shining Dragon soars through Astorian skies, that our story begins. Cool. I'm down, let's do it. Tales of Dragons? What? Yes. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be where we break off the first episode. It did run a little bit long, about 40 minutes or so. So, a little bit unfortunate in that regard, but lots of cool stuff. The prelude's all done. We kind of have our story and our setting and everything else, and we're ready to go. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video, as it always is. If you guys enjoyed this, there'll be plenty more to come, so stick around the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, like the video, thumbs up and all that stuff. And until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.